Never heard that Sega sound before. Hey, welcome to Valkyria Chronicles 4. New game to me and everyone, I'm sure. This uh, is only on Japan right now, but we got the English demo here. Instead of Valkyria on the brain, how about we give this a go? All right, so of course they always open with a million cutscenes of super spoileriness. It's sort of like a movie trailer where after you see the movie and you see the trailer, you're like, why did they spoil so much? But when you see the trailer first, you don't really realize how much you've been shown. Usually you don't want to think too hard about it. We have a Chris Blake Slee in the chat. A holy me hearty, I guess he's a pirate. Well, uh, no piracy here. We're going to be doing World War II real-time, part-time, turn-based strategy fighting game. This game's weird. I'm not sure if I should be watching this or not. I, I do not know why the Valkyria Chronicles series does this. It's like when you go to a store back in the day when they first came out with PlayStation games and they're like, look at all these movies we can do. And they never say not real gameplay footage and you're just like, whoa, the graphics are great. But nah, it's just, just the movies. But that's all this show is just movie after movie. I mean, I'm sure this is stuff that happens deep in the game. Of course, we see what our squad is ahead of time. So it's like, oh, wow, that's a surprise when girl with the poncho joins and when girl with the diamond tights joins and when dude with the uh, spiked hair joins. I think he has red hair, too. I'm doing pretty good, Chris. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, background doesn't look too good here. Battles. Battles never a good thing, really. Well, just so y'all know, this is based off of, well, it's not based off of, it is Valkyria Chronicles. But the second and third games were PSP titles. So, handheld, low graphics, yeah, it's just the same kind of gameplay, but they, they did make it better. The gameplay a bit more balanced than the first game where scouts basically destroyed everything. But the problem with, uh, I'm playing the second game right now, the problem with that one is it's all school they mixed it with high school, basically. So you're playing a high school anime game with the Valkyria Carrier Chronicles battle system. The first game is basically an alternate take on World War II. And uh, you do get through it. You do finish. There's a truce between you and the bad guys, the Imperials. And uh, that's the end of that game. Now, Valkyria Chronicles 4 throws you back in that war again from a different person's viewpoint. And I'm still talking yada yada because I like sitting on the title menus to see if there's a demo, to see whether there's any secret movies. They don't do secret movies so much anymore, though. Let's see. So the song ended. And it's been kind of quiet. I think it's might be a new song. Or the case, maybe we'll just start. So text speed normal. Da, 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 Japanese. I don't know if it's remembering my settings for the controller. That'd be interesting. Because I always try to set it so the controller speaker's off within the uh, PS... Within the PlayStation menu itself. Yes, we are going to be a scrub and do English. I happen to speak English, so... Da, 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 let me fade speed. Speed speed. Too bad the music stops here. I'll just keep everything normal for now. And this game we go. Difficulty level. So we can actually change it in the middle of the game. That's different from many games. They don't tell you the differences here and choosing it doesn't tell you the differences. Easy usually just gives you a, makes you take less damage. You're basically a bullet sponge. And they're doing the more modern thing where you could carry over your progress and you get a special item. So when I pick up Valkyria, Valkyria Chronicles 4, that was the day we enlisted. a million years down the line, I'll get a special item. 
We had something to believe in. Something worth fighting for. Yeah, our burnt and dead town. Knew, we couldn't foresee what this war would cost us. So they're skipping all the typical... It was a battlefield. But it was where we grew up. The typical RPG opening where you kind of just crawl around in your town and then it gets destroyed. They're just like, nah, town's destroyed. Let's get going. You already enlisted. You want revenge. I assume we're Claude Wallace. Flowers play a pretty significantly uh, metaphorical role in this series, at least in the first game. There's a special flower that uh, Alicia found and kind of signified your home town and it surviving was of paramount importance to your uh, emotional well-being. Boy, that's a kind of scary, scary sigil on our uh, tank, like a saber-toothed tiger, tiger or something. Or maybe a naked mole rat skull. It will be done. In the northeast, clear skies, and, uh, oh. well, I'm a goofus. I kind of ignored what they said his name was. Nap I assume it was Claude over. Wallace. On, I wasn't napping, just resting my eyes. You gotta relax, man. You are way too freaking tense. Your hands are shaking. So sack up, Commander. It's about time we get ready to roll out. Let's show those imps what's coming to them. Well, that's probably the tank, Commander. Yeah. Or squad, Commander. <clears throat> Alright, we have a dog that's new. A shift in the wind. There. Oh, yeah, that you getting those sure means a lot. Hand? Imperials incoming! What? Alright, boys! It's go time! Have special wind sensibilities. Squad E, do you read me, Squad E? This is Commander Claude Wallace. Squad E. All right, there you go, the commander. That's bad. Do not let them break through to the front line. We're counting on you. Roger that. Over. Good luck, Squad E. They won't advance until they're done shelling the area. We should have time to prepare. Kai, take a group to that southern hill and slow down their left flank. Raz, take two soldiers east and make some noise for me. You got that? Gotcha. Keep up or get left behind. No one left behind. At your command. Hoffin, roll out. I think it's so cool that the Ready to engage. commander rides in the top of the tank and gives the orders. That's what we did in the first game. I mean, someone else tries to tank and you just ride. And you shout out commands to everybody. I don't know. I just think it's, it's like the old time where uh, the commander would ride on the horse in a battle with a sword raised. Except we're on a tank. Eliminate all Imperial hostiles. Let's stop their advance. Squad E, move out! Okay, so I assume this is going to be very much like all the other Valkyria Chronicle yes, games. Uh, we'll see about that. Okay. First, we'll see how they respond to some infantry. Squad E, move out. Da, 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 da. Except from the yeah, always hard to read that when it flashes. Okay. Looks like everyone's in position. Finally, it's time. I'm time commander. for battle. It's up to me to get everyone out alive. Your training. We can do this. But we kind of skipped all the training this game. Usually the game kind of opens up, you're in your town, someone attacks, you go, oh no, you defend, and then you're taught how to fight. This one's a bit different. We're, our town's already destroyed and we're already fighting. But they're going to give us a tutorial anyway. I love command mode, it's just that they give you really detailed maps to play with. Okay, so they want me to choose Raz. How about we don't? Let's see what all these things say. All enemies are defeated. We lose all our infantry. 20 turns pass. Right now they're telling me what the result would be, I guess. An A. That's... 
used to always be based on uh, simply how many turns you take. And seeing how it's kind of set up, I'm assuming it's the same. Uh huh, we're in Milt. Take command squad E, eliminate the enemy. Alright. System settings. Well, we could save. Okay, let's save. Are you telling me we could actually cheat? That's crazy. I don't remember if the first game did that. I know the uh, second game I'm playing right now, you cannot save during a battle. View tutorials, yep, yep, yep. Options, we've seen all this before. And give up, let's not do that. All right, so unit list, I like doing this. Let's take a look at Raz. He's a shock trooper, one of my favorites. They do a lot of damage. They're a little bit slower and they're very good at defense. But I see more stuff. Oh, whatever. That that selected him. I wanted to look at his uh, stats. So let's see action mode. Uh, da, da, da. Move a unit. Uh oh, AP gauge. You cannot take back your movement. Not like other strategy games where you move forward a bit and then move back and it gives you back what you expended. You have to. Bear in mind, it goes down and stays down after you move. Alright, so what are my overall controls? Control stick right moves the camera. Very pretty background. They're going with the watercolor look again. Kind of washed out, cell shaded style with some detail. Target mode, that takes out my gun. Oh, they tell you now if you're going to do a surprise attack for sure. That's nice. And how do we lock? Is it R? Yeah, there we go. You can lock on enemies within range. I guess they're suggesting someone's over there, but I don't see them. Maybe we could see them on the map, though. Uh, square changes weapons. We have a grenade. We have Ragnada. Oh, that's strange. Usually only engineers have the healing item. I guess they're giving it to Raz, maybe because he's special. The weapon's called a Robinson. <laughs> uh, ending actions. Ships can only attack once per action. She is the moving, attacking, and the action to return to command mode. Press the big old button to end the unit action. Uh huh. Yep. Silly to do that though, you should pretty much always attack during your turn, unless everyone's infinitely out of range. Oh, okay. That's semi-random. There's a map. Why would I want that minimized? Whatever. I mean, I guess it sort of gets in the way, but I like it. R2 does what? Oh, that's peak. It's so like if I'm looking around a corner, I could do that. They didn't have that in the PSP version. I remember that was in Valkyrie 1, though. Triangle does what? Oh, because you stats while you're in action mode. That's cool. Uh, okay. I'm not going to worry too much about that at the moment. Okay, here we go. We could look at Raz. I do want to see him. Uh huh, Robinson, 200 range. 21 per person, 20 shots, so yikes, that's 420 if every single bullet hits. That's even more than the grenade, that's crazy. And it does more damage versus armor? What the heck? Usually it's the opposite armor if you do less damage. That's like tanks and turrets and stuff. Now, stuff like grenades, they do more damage towards armor. They're made, explosions are made to hurt armor. We only have one grenade. It does refill after every turn, as in after all my movements are done. If I do more than one movement with the same guy, he only gets one grenade for all those movements. Heavy armor, so I have three. Uh, not sure what some of these symbols mean. All right, so comp these are just special abilities that might randomly happen. So if I discover an enemy, my firing accuracy might go up, being around someone I don't like might decrease my defense. Look at this charge, having no enemy allies nearby might decrease my evasion. And this ability, when <laughs> he is invincible, when HP falls below half, his attack, power, defense, and evasion increase. So uh, 
Yeah, these also kind of describe the character of the peas. They're fun special abilities with fun descriptions to give you some flavor text on the character. And I don't think there's any other button to play with. R1, no, no, no. Circle will end it. X does what? Okay, nothing right now. D-pad moves slowly. So I guess we are going to go forth and destroy. But I do wonder who's over there. Let's go slowly and see if we could peek around the corner at this guy. There we go, it's another scout. But he is way far away. So, for now, let's do a surprise attack on this guy. I don't think there's any point going up there. Now they're kind of waiting to explain about how to attack. Now that we're in position, time to attack. Press R1 while in action mode, enter target mode. Yeah, blah, blah. Okay, we'll do. The maps kind of confuse me. To, oh, okay, they're all the way out. All the way out around there. Let's get rid of this guy. So we do have somewhere we could crouch. So we could crouch here. When you crouch, your defense goes up and it's harder to hit you. And if they shoot you in the head, it doesn't count as a critical hit. Now they probably want me to shoot him from back here, but look at my accuracy. I could fall anywhere within that circle. That's just not that great. It only takes seven shots to kill him though. So I'd probably get him for sure with my 20 shots, but we're gonna get closer. Though that other guy might start shooting at us. What we'll do is we'll run up closer to him, shoot him, then hide behind that sandbag. Okay, so this is close enough. If we aim at his head, he's actually only two shots. So we'll center it on there. You do, you are more likely to shoot within the middle than the outside, I've found. This guy still can't reach us. We still have more uh, CP, so we're going to run up to those sandbags. All right, sandbags. Provide cover. Move behind the sandbag, press X when crouch appears to take cover. Crouch makes you harder to hit and negates extra headshot damage, so no critical hits. Take cover behind sandbags as you move. So I've already done my attack. I cannot attack again this turn, but I could move as much as my bar, my AP meter, is filled. So I'm going to move to those sandbags and take cover. Then I'm going to end my turn. Okay, I was going to see if he was going to keep shooting. It sounded like he finished reloading, though. In the current action, yes. So they split us up back here again. Damn it, these assholes are in my way. Wow. Break through this. Why not? You're invincible, right? Hey, Kai. Kai, Raz, short names. I'm Claude, though. Claude. Are you really getting tripped up over some common foot soldiers? Why don't you ever stop and think? Oh, shut up! Just hurry and take him out, will ya? Yes. Raz, what do you do? Thought you'd never Ooh, ask. she's a sniper. I thought she had the sniper symbol on her hat. Calling his deployed. Alright, so this field was for Kai. If we want, we could just use Raz, move forward, take this mook out, but, uh, yeah, no. Though so actually, it looks like they might... No, that symbol means sandbag. That's kind of cool. Now, look in the upper left, or the upper bar, rather. We used one of those symbols. We had three before. Now we have two. Every time you move a unit, you use one of those CPs. You could attack once per turn at any point during that turn, and then move as much as your meter allows you. So that's what I did. I moved up to the guy, shot him dead, then moved and stopped my turn, and that used one metal. Now, if I used him again, he would have less AP. If you keep using the same guy during the same turn, they can't move as far. But we're going to use her. But first, I want to see this stuff. Last time I did it, it kicked me out, which is a bit annoying. They're all exactly the same. Uh, I don't think there's any camps. We can't look at additional information on them. I could learn how to do this on this. Oh, we have commands. Nope, no commands. 
commands are special powers your leader can do. And that, yeah, that. Yeah. Alright, so snipers. And I haven't used a sniper for a while. Uh, Valkyrie Chronicles 2 doesn't have a base sniper class. You have to upgrade a scout to it. I haven't done that yet. Okay. So let's see how crazy good her uh, aim is. Stay close to your unit. I don't think there's anything to hide behind, so we're just going to not waste any CP and start aiming and see what happens. So Kaz wants me to take out this mook because he's a little baby. If we zoom in, we're probably gonna gonna hit him. If we hit his body, his two shots, hit his head, his one. So he's pretty close, and I'm still not guaranteed a hit. I was gonna be crazy and aim at someone out here. I could still kill him one hit. There's no damage fall off. A lot of weapons have damage fall off. The further away you are, the less damage you'll do to the point where you really can't kill them, and your accuracy is terrible. But the sniper looks like it's still going to be a kill. I like that our gun's called a wasp. That's kind of cute. So what we're going to do is kind of not cheat. There, but we're going to move closer. Now if you look at the mini-map, each square is 100 AP. One, each tick on the bar at the bottom is 100 AP. So she could move 4 AP, f AP to get to where she needs to go. So if I'm looking at that map correctly, that'd be 50, approximately 150 to get to where uh, Kaz is. That doesn't sound right, but I'm going to try. Yeah, that wasn't right at all. Maybe they changed the count on the maps. That's okay. I'm still close enough though, so that when I shoot this mook, I'm going to be guaranteed a hit. Oh crap. I didn't know he could shoot from that far away. Now I'm so close to my teammate I could shoot him by mistake. It actually didn't seem to increase my aim too much, but here we are. Got him. Good job. So she's going to stay out in the open like an idiot. I was hoping I'd be able to move to a sandbag. Seriously though, that did not seem correct. Should have been able to do a bit uh, more there. Uh, sorry about the angle. Come on, stop. How do I end this? There we go. So a lot of X's. I think that means those are destroyable barriers. Now these guys, I'm not reaching them this turn with either of them. Let's check this again. She was about here, right? So if each of those squares are 100, that's, uh, oh, I must have counted wrong. The minimap's so hard to read. 100, 200, 300, yeah, yeah, okay. So anyway, uh, they don't give you the ticks on that bar. That's a pain. So she had a total of 400. She can move three now. So one, two, I guess that's the sandbag. And then she could shoot at the, one of those guys and take him out, hopefully. That's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, one, two, oh, she doesn't have 300. Well, let's see what happens. So looking at the mini-map, they don't show this handbag, so I can't tell. She is not going to make that sandbag. So, since we are committed to using her, let's hide behind here. And shoot. At nothing? Where are they? Seriously, they're behind. Okay, fine. How come I can't see you? He's really behind a ridge? Sheesh. Fine. I can't shoot them because they're over a ridge. We're just going to crouch here. Hopefully they won't get close enough to really hurt me. Now, if I was doing this correctly, I should have moved Kaz up T 
to, uh, because he could absorb damage better. But I was hoping that she would just simply take out another unit. Select unit command mode, use it up on command point. Number of times you can control a unit per player. Phase, that's the whole turn. Player in phase, so my turn's over because I've used all three of my points. You could end with leftover CP and it moves over to your next turn. Most games let you carry 20 at maximum, so sometimes it's good to save your points for reasons like defense. All right, guys, are you gonna get close enough to hurt my sniper? No, you're gonna run all the way over there. Now, what I'm curious to see is if they move the same guy twice, because you have three points to use. And I've noticed in these games, they don't like moving the same person more than once. See? It's really strange. I think it's a kind of handicap they give the player, where they allow the enemy to only move once per person. Yeah, I know. That Soldiers, forward. makes it so they can't just go forward and just obliterate your team with one guy. If they were smart, they now could do that sometimes. Did you say that earlier? So we have backup. I'm not going to use them, I'm just going to snipe these guys. CP and consecutive actions, command points, replenish the start. Multiple unit, multiple times in a row, but... Okay, I use for cutting enemy lines, running passengers, train, finishing off a tenacious enemy. That's interesting. Usually they don't, they say it's bad to do it. This time they gave some reasons why it's good. That said, they'll tire out and start each consecutive action with less AP than the last, as you saw with Kai when she could move less. CP that goes unused during one phase will, however, roll over to the next. Usually I like moving pe single people further up, but it's fun to play as a team too. So let's see who we have and don't accidentally select people. Uh, are these guys generic? I'm not sure. Well, they are privates, so they're probably just generic units. Oh, what were her... Uh, can I not look at them? Oh, okay, there we go. Dead eye increases her firing and attack power. Fool's protector. <laughs> uh, her attack power increases when she is near Raz. When her AP falls below half, hunger pings kick in, gradually lowering her HP. Wow, that's disgustingly bad. And who else do we have? Social anxiety, tense around people they're not well acquainted with. Laurent nearby. Encourages him, boosting his attack power. Being around nature makes his heart sore. Uh huh. Nico. Where everyone else increases their firing accuracy. See, they're not always good. If you realize divine intervention to keep her from danger. Okay. Jeez. Uh, the dark sins are. Uh, the simplest way to put it is they're like the Jewish analog. They're, they're a persecuted race of people. And the Imperials are like the Axis army. I mean, they don't really do it as heavy-handedly as some other games do, but it's kind of the idea. Everyone, except everyone kind of hates the Darksons, even the Galleons who are the good guys, quote-unquote. The real, uh, the allies, though, are the Federation, which are kind of the bad guys to us, too. Basically, Gallia doesn't want anything to do with the war. And that's between the Federation and the Imperials. But Gallia gets stuck up in it, and the Imperials are badderer than the Federation. I mean, Kazran makes us look good, yada yada, this is confidence, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you know what? How about, well, actually, before I go on, who's, are, is one of them weaker than the other? No, they have the same guns. HP is about the same. Huh. That's interesting. Anyway, here, Kai, shoot, kill. I know you could do it. Uh, okay. Aim at the head. It kind of hurts.
Dun, 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 dun. Yep, yep, yep. They're just saying, you know, do some simple math to see if you'll kill. Okay, so you are pretty close. And this will probably hit you. However, I am curious to see how much better we could make that. So let's run over to those bunkers, have them start shooting at us. And I think he missed every shot, which was nice. Now, is this a guaranteed hit? Sure is. Bye-bye. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Didn't take much. Nope. And we could take out that guy easy peasy too, I'm sure. So we can't do it this turn though, but what we're gonna do is be a psychopath and run straight at him because I'm not gonna let him hit me. Please reload. I'm going to stop the turn if I can because I can't shoot again. Choose my character, take out my gun. Oh, he got a couple shots off while I was doing that. I don't think I've gotten hit once though. No, I've gotten hit. This is stupid, a sniper rushing up to an enemy, firing at them, and getting a shot on the head, guaranteed. There. This is not how you play a sniper, by the way. But on a tutorial mission, why not? Good job, everyone. Except you all didn't do a good job. Kai did it. Oh crud. Tanks are coming. I hope I hope Kai isn't out in the middle where all the tanks are. Yes, sir. Also, I can't really pause anymore. Taking out your gun is a way to sort of pause. So if they're shooting at Kai, I'll be in trouble. Is the Huffin the name of my tank? I don't know what it means. I like the name of the first tank, the tank in the first game, the Edelweiss. The type of flower, also a nice song. All right, tanks plus firepower journeys far beyond that of foot soldiers. Yep, basically infantry cannot hurt them. Well, certain infantry can. Okay, so they are destroyable, those things I pointed out earlier. I'm assuming grenades and stuff will destroy them, too. Yep. That's a good thing to remember. Oh, neat. They gave me two points again. I th I'm pretty sure I already used... Oh, is it because he appeared? See, he has a little CP mark on his portrait. So does Raz. And I think Kai, too, maybe? Yes. I don't know. All I know is that now, the more guys you have like that, the more CP points you start your turn with. I'm just happy I could use... My, uh, tank already, because this tank can and will destroy her. Now, I'm not confident my tank's going to... ...save her, so I might want to make her run away this turn. I'm going to be crazy. How far can you move? You could... They don't tell you, um... Triangle. No, circle. Square triangle. AP, 450. So let's see. One, two, three, four, fifty. That's not going to be close enough to shoot behind where the radiator is which would destroy the tank so I am going to choose her and have her make a beeline towards as far away as possible uh what's her AP now is that about is that about next to nothing it might be 150 100, 150, and then the next turn will be maybe, maybe 100. You know what? This is what we'll do. We're going to move one, two, three, 
and hopefully create a barricade. Okay, moving out. Good luck to me. <laughs> go, go, go. No, no, don't waste your... Yes, go. Go, go, go. Uh, I'm not going to come anywhere close to saving her. Darn it. The tank better not blast her. Uh, let's see. Tank warfare. Three methods of attacking are piercing shells, mortar rounds, mounted machine gun. Yep. That's the main thing, the armor piercing shell. Explosive mortars are nice against infantry if you have nothing better to do, but really you're not going to do that much, hopefully. Because your infantry could take care of other infantry. It's like a very strong grenade. Machine gun is designed to strike foes who are too close for the mortar and intercept incoming enemies, so really you're not going to be using that. Just on the defense. Okay, so... Now, what would be nice is if I hit the back and blew him up, but that's not going to happen. There's three hits from the front normally. Man, look at that circle I got there. That's really wide. I'm just going to aim center mass. Get him. Ting. Okay, let's hope, uh... What's her name? Kai survives this. Wait. It costs only one to use the tank, and the other game it costs two. Uh. Okay, cool. What's his abilities? Breathe the flow of the wind and sky, increases accuracy. Being your allies decreases his anti tank power. That's not great for a commander. Come on, Claude. Even in the face of danger, he refuses to flee, reducing damage or interception power. That's cool. So he probably has about... He started with 450 AP, now it's, what, 350? He could get behind it and destroy it. Okay, moving out. So that's neat. Only cost one to use the tank. They always made the tank so expensive in the other games. But it cost two to move it, usually. So yeah, we're gonna move behind him and blow him up with our shell. Doop -be doop -be doop -be doo -be doop -be doop uh, at least I hope I could get back there. Ooh, hopefully that's close enough. And I still have one more... Uh, two more anti-armors. Yeah, we got it. Unless we somehow stupidly miss. No explosive da uh, splash damage, by the way, which is nice. Want to try? Squatty, don't take shit from nobody. That's a naughty word. Claude knows what I'm. Whoa, you okay? The flowers. Aww. I told you they're metaphorically important. Oh, yeah. They didn't stand a chance. Come on, man. You're supposed to be commander of the Ranger Corps. Commander still has a heart, same as a foot soldier. Rank doesn't make this any less painful to see. Oh, but crying over flowers? Even little girls have bigger balls these days. <laughs> Maybe. But what matters is that their hearts... I love how the, 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 he's reminding me of uh, Wilkin from the first game, the main commander then. He was more of a doofus, but he was always philosophical, too. All right, I get it. Power of the heart, blah, blah, blah. Look, just go turn in your report already, will ya? Can't go get sloshed if we're stuck here on standby. Good point. I'll head to the command center. Wonder if they'll let us do yeah, that or if the demo ends here. Tell the brass to send us tougher imps to fight next time, yeah? All right. 
We got an A. We did in two turns. Just got extra bunch of being a tank. And yeah, alright. So I wonder if uh, they actually skipped. Operation Northern Cross. No, this does look like it's going to be, since this carries on to the actual game, they're probably just letting you play the start of it. But it's just kind of strange that you start with your whole, well, a lot of your squad together already. He pressed a flower in his book. Is he going to be a botanist? In the first game, your character is really big on it. bugs and stuff. Yeah, save all the time, they're saying. Always a smart thing to do. Save, save, save. So we could change the difficulty at any time. This is the movie. This is the stage. This is going to be another movie, it looks like. And we can't look at any of the special tabs yet. Or maybe at all in the demo. Sir, First Lieutenant Claude Wallace reporting in. Good work out there. Glad you're still in one piece. We're just about to go over our next operation. Oh, it's the Federation. Am I with the Federation this game? Late. I'm sure you know standard procedure is to report immediately after a mission. Like I said, the first game was the Federation versus the Imperial, basically Allies versus Axis, and Gallia was stuck in the middle. You're reporting to? You played as uh, Gallia. This one you might play as the Federation, essentially the Allies. That's lieutenant to you, Claude. Don't get smart with me just because we share rank. I've got seniority. Good for you. <clears throat> Sorry, Lieutenant Minerva Victor. <laughs> Probably knew each other. Well, let's get started. That's how these games go. Give us a situation report. I said rep. Yes, sir. Three months have passed since we went to war. I won't sugarcoat it. They're steamrolling us. Bummer, man. By this point, a third of our territory is under Imperial control. Whoa. This is officially a crisis. Man, you guys suck. If it's that bad already, we won't even be able to sustain a war effort. You're right. And the Empire's only gaining momentum. The Empire must be using, uh... Out much longer. Blitzkrieg tactics. The Federation's finished. Your <laughs> face kind of disturbs me, Esther. I'm not sure why. Nobody else could stand against them. The Empire would take total control. The way his mouth morphs. Yikes. Ew. We can't let Whoa. that happen. Europa's future depends on us. I hope we don't see you too often, mister. I want a named a named officer to lead me. The top brass finally got off their seats and sent us a plan. A counterattack that can turn the war around in one fell swoop, ready to be put into action. You're unsettling when you smile, lady. Get back to being upset again. What are the orders? Win. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh. We put all our force into one strike. Break through their defenses and hit them where they'll hurt most. In the soldiers, supplies. We'll use all reserves we have to make a final push and capture one crucial enemy base. If we fail, that's the end for us. And we lucky few of the 32nd Armored Ranger Battalion have been handpicked as the vanguard. How convenient for the player. Couldn't ask for a better mission, sir. Which enemy base are we targeting? Think bigger. We take this base, and we take their will to... We're attacking their capital somehow, which we're not, because that'd be stupid. But how could any one target mean that much to... Wait, you don't mean... You always were a clever boy, Claude. I think you've got it. So tell us. No, plus show you a map so we understand. The Imperial capital of Sh ah. 
Oh, Let's thanks for the angle back. too. I was too busy to look at the name to look at that. Operation Northern Cross. The year was 1935 EC. Two great powers vied to control the continent of Europa. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European this is Imperial Alliance. European up there again. Known as the Empire. In the West, a network of loosely allied democracies banded together to form the Atlantic Federation. I'm starting to think in Japan they called it European. Both powers depended on a precious mineral, Ragnite, for their prosperity. Its growing scarcity leading inevitably to war. With its overwhelming military might, the Empire captured one nation after another. While the Federation struggled to maintain unity, Every battle driving them further back against the wall. Yeah, recognize the super special with seven resource that could do anything. The Imperial War Machine, the Federation places all its hope in a desperate counterattack. Operation Northern Cross. Six million soldiers fought in this campaign. It claimed more lives than any other in the Second European War. Federation historians call it the Eastern Theater. But the Empire knows it as the War for the Motherland. So, yeah, they didn't touch on this too much in the first game. We were focusing so much on Gallia. And how much they really didn't want to do anything in the war and just fought and died on those fields, stop fighting. To make their ideals a reality. Ordinary people thrust into extraordinary circumstances, fighting in the hopes that they would see a brighter future. What follows here is a record of those brave warriors, a record of that battle against the dark. Please buy our game. Based on the diary of one Claude Wallace, the commander of the Federation's Gallian Squad E. That's a lot of scouts. They know what they're doing. That's a bit of a crazy march there, seriously. Come on. Okay. Chapter one, the Battle of Fort Crest. That's good. Good news, Claude. HQ has awarded you with a medal. Why, thank you. The thank you for starting our game medal. Alright. I'm not sure these accessory things are, but we get one for carrying demo information over once we buy the game. Alright, that's that's nice, sure. Equip up to the uh Okay. I'm not sure what that means exactly. Guess so we'll save over the same file again. So let's see. You were talking about equipping stuff. I guess we can't do it from here just yet. March the 10th. At long last. We have finally entered Imperial territory. It's a big old bazooka thing. The ferocity of the Federation counterattack caught the Empire off guard. Battle by battle, town by town, we're pushing back the front, with no signs of slowing down. Like the road magic. The Ferocity is a long one, running at least 1,500 kilometers Shh. from friendly territory into the heart of the Empire. Oh come on, that's basically that's saying you've won the, the entire war side. already before you capture, so they're just like. Us, but for now, morale is high. <sighs> Everyone here believes in this operation. Here's our plan. Is praying it'll succeed. Our plan is to and defeat all the army. After all. I mean, that's not much of a plan. Give them one good stomping, and all of a sudden they're running off home. Don't... So are you going to take what? a picture of everything we pass? Here, let me have a look at it. Uh, hey, Raz, come on. <laughs> Stop it, really. You're wasting my film. Wasting? No chance. What you got here is a picture of a future hero. Whoa. You take one too, eh, Kai? Yeah, maybe. 
You just await that. <laughs> there you go. That's a keeper. Uh, damn it, Miles! The hell was that for? Freaking her, Quiet. man! I told him to stop the tank. Huh? Everything okay? The That's a weird short shorts, tights, pants, the female scout skit. I think it's the scout. <laughs> Whoa, oh, that ain't good. Easy. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. They brought out the big guns. A blast that big could wipe out a whole squad. Easy. Game over. Let's keep moving. Our anime here says we're going to be safe. Also, the wind. Let's have wind powers. Squad F should be nearby. But Squad F will be dead. Blown up. <sighs> Flash. Thunder. That's what they actually used in World War Two, or yeah, was it in World War Two? Next time, give us the response before you scare us shitless. All I know is that's what they did. The U.S. used to use to identify themselves. Apologies, I didn't mean to frighten you. Follow me. Lieutenant Victor is waiting. Who? Oh, you mean Minerva? And you are Corporal Crystal Ward from Squad F. Indeed, I have the honor of answering to Minerva Victor, the strongest and smartest officer in the army. <laughs> I'm remembering a lot of these poses and stuff. They're recycling quite a bit. Uh, but then again, it's kind of like they did this for the remastered version, which came out two years ago for the first game. So I assume you saw that explosion. Oh, well, we saw it all right. They must be packing serious heat. A 21 centimeter howitzer. Currently, our worst nightmare. Yay! It must have a range of at least 10 kilometers. We can't advance with that thing around. Just so. Our mission is to capture that cannon. Commander! Good work leading Squad E so far, Claude. Your slow pace, however, does leave something to be desired. Thank you, Squad F Commander Merva. Minerva. We saw cannon fire, so we've been proceeding with caution. Keep your excuses. As I said before, the success of Operation Northern Cross hinges on our swift advance. Time is of the essence. I know. You try hustling with a huge cannon up your ass. Oh, wait! You already tried and failed. Down, boy. Claude, have you not housebroken your squad? The hell did you say? Yeah, the line of command here is not working very well. I'd appreciate it if you didn't insult my soldiers. They're people, not pets. Then I expect them to act like it. I'm not the one wagging my tongue. Soldiers who step out of line are often the first to die. Remember that, Sergeant Raz. Yeah, yeah. Hope you make it out alive too, Lieutenant. <sighs> um, Commander? Uh, there's a good view from the clearing. Maybe we could brief them there. Claude, come with me. All right, let's see how big this thing is. Allow me to explain your next mission. As you know, Fort Crest has a 21 centimeter howitzer that's blocking our advance. I guess that's pretty big. It 
might just look like an old castle turned into a makeshift fort. Wait, I mean, the joke is that's small. What a small cannon. Wow. But they've stationed quite a few troops to defend the cannon. If we get too close, those turrets on the walls will mow us down. So when does our own cannon get here? That howitzer already destroyed it. Job. We're outranged. Blown up already? How long will the replacement take? The bridge was destroyed too, so the artillery tractor can't proceed. It will take at least seven days. And those Imperials are really on top of things. We do have it's like they know what they're doing. Doesn't matter how many foot soldiers we get. Without a cannon, we're just waiting around. Unless we sneak in under night cover. Ho ho ho. Oh. Necessarily. Huh? Time is of the essence. We don't have a week to wait. You're as sharp as ever. Well, you stated the obvious. Like he says, we can't afford to wait. I heard him. We'll have to capture the fort without artillery. What? That's too reckless. Those turrets would fill us with more holes than golly and cheese. I just realized something. Are they? Yes, they are blinking. It's a dangerous it's when they're out of frame, they're not blinking. But those are your orders. This isn't your local militia. This is what you signed up for when you joined the Edinburgh Army. I'd say Edinburgh. We enlisted Edinburgh. the Empire. Not to commit suicide. Then allow me to clue you in on something. Crystal, tell them the news. We have an underground tunnel, or I don't know, just yes, how are we doing this? This morning, the Empire invaded Gallia. No, they started the first game, no. They've invaded? I knew it was only a matter of time. What about our hometown? Is Hoffman okay? So we're from Gallia too? I thought we were in the Federation Army. I don't know. All we know is that the battle broke out near the border, at Citadel Girlandio. The Imperial Army, however, is being led by Prince Maximilian himself. Gallia's prospects look grim. So, this is supposed to be good news? Help us capture this fort? Oh, damn it! Is there nothing we can do? If Operation Northern Cross goes as planned, the Empire won't have the luxury of staying on the offensive. Our only option is to complete the mission as soon as possible. Guess we've got no choice then. If our home's in the Empire's sights, then we've got to protect it! I thought they said the hometown was already destroyed, and that's why they joined the army. Who knows? Yeah, let's do it for Galia. Yay, battle time. Seriously, I can't select any of these, uh... other tabs? No, I guess not. I'm not going to put on any, any accessories. Maybe they'll allow us to choose deployment, and we can place it Here there. Your All right, this looks good. It's just hilarious. It's covered up in camo tarp in the middle of a courtyard. Yeah. Yummy. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so we're going to talk about deployment now.
Yep, capture a base. Capture the flag. Capture, capture, capture. All right. So. And squad, squad set up. Here we go. That's where we could set up parts in. Uh, fine. Look at this first. Yes, always deploy all your leaders because that's a huge deal. So always, always, always deploy every single leader. Yeah, Lancers are the infantry units that could hurt tanks. Alright, so let's see. What I want to see is if no, I don't get equipment options there. I do have to go to reassign the squad. See, who would think to do that? Good thing I did, though. Equipment, take part. Let's see. Our reserves. These are people we do not have. Wow, she looks interesting. These are units we don't have in our team right now. They put so many people on our team. They won't let us put the important characters in the reserves. Only a couple engineers. A ton of scouts. Well, before we fool around, let's just see if Lenny is any good. This is effectiveness. Does everyone get Ragnade now? Ragnade, that's the way you heal people. AP falling below half decreases, lowering AP. Uh, not really that great. Okay. That's no good. I like surprise attacks. What? <laughs> All right. Forget you. That's cool. Is that only on counterattacks? Not when they're choosing to attack? Alright. That's not alright. Whatever the case may be, let's just uh, see about the accessories. Okay, so let's look at Claude. Uh, what's... Oh, I'm trying to remember. They had that in the first game, but I don't see it in the second game. I don't remember. We got lots of pages of those. Probably, like, people were teamed up with really well. I assume. I want to equip an accessory. There we go, this is probably it. Yes, capped bullets. That's not gonna help with... If it does boost the tank, does it? Uh, 350. Oh, that's weird, they're showing his... Okay, they're showing his, if he's not in the tank, what he does. He's going to be in the tank. This doesn't matter. So, three versus armor. Let's see if that drops to 39. No. So, they don't update the information here. We don't want that anyway. Let's give it to somebody with a ton of crazy bullets and who's psychotic. Plus three aim, plus three armor. Boom. Might be better against... 
with a scout though who needs good aim to hit the uh, to hit the head. Choose someone cool that I think I want to use a lot of. She looks nice. Uh, worried about firing accuracy. That's not good. Hiding's important. And accuracy is my most favorite thing. Oh, jeez, forget that. Let's see about Jester. No. Okay, I don't want one with a lowered, lowered accuracy. That's interesting. Do we have anyone that doesn't lower accuracy? Okay, so he doesn't. Aim decreases just at random. Jeez Louise, we have so many bad abilities in this. This is crazy. Well, we're going to want to pick two scouts, maybe. And I don't know if there's two I like. I mean, Curtis doesn't have terrible abilities. Who's Laurent? Lancer. He gave us a lot of Lancers. I'm starting to fit to like kind of zone out looking at all this nonsense. I think we're not gonna min max right now. Let's uh give this to Curtis. We want him to be able to make headshots. Let's start deploying after we look at the tank parts, I guess. We just have this one. We just have this scary ranger emblem. And... Alright, blah, blah, blah. Yep, yep, yep. We get to play a little game of puzzle blocks. And we don't have anything right now. We have different weapons. I doubt it. Yeah, let's let's just start deploying. No, don't deploy. Position the units. So we have to place Claude. He's already there. We want to place Rez. Let's go ahead and stick him in the middle. Actually, no, let's place him here. How's the AP in this game? Scouts have a lot. Shock troopers have quite a bit less. Lancers are even slower. Engineers are fairly fast. Snipers are slowish. So, let's see, Kai, right? Place you in the back ish. Put Curtis up here. Curtis, Curtis, where are you? Let's go. Let's get an engineer out. We only have three, to, two to look at. So which one's the better one? They won't let us check them out. Jeez, ah, fine. Blah, da, 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 da. Increase his defense. Okay. Well, hopefully that would never even happen. That's kind of weird. It's just weird. OK. 
Okay. That would probably not really come up. So, don't rescue units with her, I guess. We'll try using her. That's it, then. Oh no, don't take her out. Don't take her out. Put her back. So we're going to use Rebecca, which Lancer is nice. I know I said I wouldn't do this, but... Uh... Well, who do I like the look of? I know that's kind of a silly thing to say, but... Well, she's different. What I mean by that is I don't see too many black people among the troops. Using ammunition. I don't like losing accuracy. Aim decreases. What does that mean compared? I guess your accuracy would go down. Magic makeup. You look cool. I like veteran skill, but... Self-made soldier sounds annoying. Oh wait, his anti-tank power increases. Okay. I think I like him. I'm not even looking at other guys. Let's use him. Okay, so, here you go. Place you up front since you move slow. And where's the other person? It's Rebecca, right? Yeah. Preparation complete. And that should do it. Now, capture that cannon. There's always so many units to figure out at the start of a game. I just like... Finding the ones which will be my favorites. This this is a pretty bad lot so far. Take down the Imperial camp. Capture their heavy artillery. Squad E, move out. Cool. All right, let's save. I expected resistance, but they're tough nuts to crack. What should we do? We can't exactly rush in and kick the door down. We'll get routed if we don't have a plan. First, we need a solid foothold. Let's capture that camp. Yeah, let's go up high and snipe them. After that, well, guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Weapons free. Squad E, move out. Again, what else? Pay attention, Claude. Your leadership skills are going to be put to the test. And what? Your your squad's not gonna help? You're just gonna hang back? That means getting the most out of your soldiers. Don't forget the basics. Yeah, good point. I'll keep that in mind. Alright, camps. Camps are everywhere. When you're a camp, you get defense, HP recovery. Occupying a camp allows you to call for reinforcements. Yep. Capture it. No allies in your camp. The enemy can capture it from you. Two kinds of camps. Yep, yep, yep. So you basically capture camps to move your front line forward. All right, so we probably should save. Then let's see here. What was it I wanted to check? There's a very, sp oh right, it says easy here. Remember that trooper which had the easy on his helmet? I guess that's our unofficial name, the easy squad, probably. 
But first up, a tank. Yay. Uh, unit list. I always like doing this first to see if the enemy has any CP units. And we have this one guy up here. If he's defeated, they get less CP. So what, we can actually see him from here? Whatever the case may be, we better get rid of this tank. Let's bring our Lancer up or our tank up. Our tank only uses one CP, which is crazy. Lancer. Uh, one. One, two. How come we've been dying away hard for my brain? One, two. I don't think Lance can make it behind, but let's try it just to see. Whoa, that's your voice? Yup, that's a big thing. The explosives don't really hurt them. Same with mines. Really? Whatever. Let's provide support with the Hoffman. Can you make it? Such as that tall grass. You could hide. Go, go, go. Whoa, it actually hurts quite a bit. Because he's good against explosions, but not so much. Not so much to think shooting him. With three shots like this, how about we save our ammo? Since we're just going to hit the back of it in the next motion. How do I do this? Like that. So my tank probably... Wouldn't have been able to get around behind either, I'm thinking. Come on. There we go. Oh man, his voice. I found him. Scaling turret, scout, and tank. Go boom. Yes, no splash damage, remember. Still just a so there's another tank. Hold position. I'll be there soon. We want to get within range to attack that tank. Yep, yep, uh-huh. Not betray my confidence. Where's the camp again? That's the main camp. Because over there's the basic camp. How can they put the main camp closer than the other camp? Don't know. Let's just go. Can you hide behind there? <laughs> You're just out of range. The engineer will get you. Uh, right. How do I do this? There we go. So we still have a ton of CP. AP, though, for him. He starts with what? 350? Now it's down to, like, very little. I could probably get around here and shoot around the corner, but I don't think that would kill, uh, reach and kill. Let's move this guy who has so much shape CP, it's ridiculous. 
Understood. Let's see. Sniper could probably get two. Not really sure the sniper could get anyone. Let's just get moving. We can't afford to drag our feet here. Damn it, the defenses are too strong. Gatling. Engineer. So we're not gonna run in front of that tank and get shot at. We're going over here again. And we'll probably go ahead and use one turn taking out that scout. Our engineer. Just rush forward. Take out your gun. Actually hurt quite a bit. It like would take who knows how many shots to destroy it. I'm just trying to figure out where everybody is right now. Where's their other... Oh, both of the Gatling guys are up there. There's one there and there's one over there. Anyway, let's see. Your aim isn't great, but let's give it a go. There. Yay. Let's keep going. No. Yeah, let's move over here and try to get behind those sandbags and shoot that other scout down. And your turn, and your turn. So yeah, what is the mission objective? Capture the base camp. So yeah, that is the base on the left. Anyway, he can make it to these sandbags or the grass after shooting him. Understood. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Got your gun. Oh, come on. You got a shot out? Bummer. Let's look around. Engineer over there hiding. Sort of. Oh, come on. You freaking loser. This is lame beyond compare. Stop, 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 end your turn. Right. Take out your gun. Freaking heck. Yeah, I mean, if you don't defeat a guy, they get to counterattack, but I thought for sure I was gonna get him. Alright, so what you're gonna do is hope nobody could get a shot off you. Free hide in that grass. Good luck, mister. Mash axe! Oh, come on. Grenades. Enemy scratch my sandbags take a lot less damage, that's true. Throw a grenade, destroy the sandbags. Yes, yeah, limited supply. Weapons with limited ammo, I skipped it. I'm pretty sure it just says it recharges once a turn. I'm just trying to hide before someone shoots at me. Focus out there. See a scout? No, he's an engineer. Scouts could see people in grass very easily. Gatling turret up there. Why didn't he shoot at any of us? Oh wait, I'm looking... Ladies and gentlemen, show me what you can I got do. confused. I thought that was my unit. We're back over there. Uh, we're probably trying to go a bit forward. Make haste. But let's, let's not push it. Let's just end it. Alright, so you're done. Let's just stay there. What else can we do? I'll just try to 
blow this tank up. Okay, then. Oh, come on. Don't waste that. Try to get... I hate how when you walk against sandbags, sometimes you guys are doofus and won't properly walk over it. So you waste all the CP trying to get over. Trying to get over uh, sandbags. All right, hopefully we'll hit it. If not, we have another chance. Hey, good shot. Old soldiers die hard. Kill confirmed. Not bad out there. All right. You might not be able to make it. Yeah, he is like no AP. I guess I could just walk behind there if I cared. Or I could leave him in the open. See, it's free to retreat when you're at the base. But when you're away from the base, it costs uh, one. Well, I could just carry over the CP to next turn. I'm just going to leave him in. In the open. Yeah. Do, 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 do. He knows where I am, but I'm too far, and they finished a the turn just like that. Okay. Oh no. This game also has the healing at the start of a turn thing, which uh, I believe they started in the second game. The first game, only engineers would heal you, or if you're in a, in a camp. But now it seems like everyone carries a ragnade and you heal at the start of a turn. Like, let's see, he was at 7. He healed 40. So it fits of your health almost? See, we're doing the doofy thing where we use one guy to do everything. And I'm down with it. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. So what I'm going to do is blow him up with a grenade. Take over the base and move a lot of people up. Right. Nice to feel dirt under my feet. How much would Ragnade heal anyway? You don't really show. Well, let's go forward and take out this engineer. Damn it, the defenses are too strong. How far does your grenade go anyway? Not too far. Stay low. Stick to the grassy areas. Do it. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Also, it took him out. Awesome. Sure hope that Gatling won't hit us. Can we really nope. Good. Good job, Curtis. Yeah, also in C command mode.
What I wonder is if deploying a unit gives you immediate control like they did in the second game. They did not do that in the first game. You had to wait a turn, so basically it cost you a lot of CP to retreat and move people. But you still have to capture that base camp. smart we'd probably get rid of you because your CP is your HP is so low let's just be smart okay That's for like grenades and stuff. And that could come in useful, fixing sandbags. Okay, so they can basically revive fallen units to fight some more in battle. Usually they get removed if you find them. You know, like you save them, but you can't use them. Alright. So... Who do we have here? Are you crouching? No, he is. You're a CP unit. We might be able to finish this this turn. Go ahead and retreat. Not retreat, uh. Oh, well, they do call it retreat, but we retreat Kai. Send her out here. We always want her, her out because she has the extra command point addition. Do we get control? No, we don't. They changed it from the first game, uh, the second game. It's like the first game again. I think I have to wait till next turn before she comes out. That's just a waste of... That's just a waste of a turn there. No, not really, because I still have to deploy people anyway. Curtis would not be able to finish this, that's for sure. Let's just deploy a team. Actually, you know what Curtis could have? He could have healed, taken... He could have taken this guy out, moved up and healed, and been a psychopath and died. Who else do we have down here? I guess we're committed to not finishing it this turn. Let's send out, oh, I don't know. Just someone that looks fun. Viola. Uh, I think I decided I didn't like any of these guys, but let's go ahead and send out Jester. I guess that should do it. Though we don't want Kegel to stay in trouble. Okay, then. Should have used Curtis to take this guy out first. I 
I'm just gonna take a random shot and run away. Yep, missed. Run. Hide in the grass if you could make it in time. Barely. So end the turn early. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, yeah, we did that already. And they appear on your next phase. That's crazy in the second game where they appear and you use them immediately. This is uh, the the more realistic way to do it, I would think. Go away, I don't like you. But guess what, my Lancer's hiding. You can't see him. Which way did he go? Which way did he go? Yay, friends. Okay. Let's send the Shock Trooper up because they have a higher defense. Uh, let's see. AP is 500. Yeah, you could make it. Time for this. And take out that first scout. Take him out. Fire! Then hide. Oh ho. Not like it really matters. They're not even using all their CP. They're just saying to keep your Leaders alive because they do. Head CP. How do I end this? There we go. Now we're free to use our first. See, I did that so I could move my sniper as far up as possible to help take this guy out. Also, I want to see if I could snipe these two turrets. Now advancing. Jeez, I, I, I keep forgetting. <laughs> Alright, so. would we'll take four shots, so guess what? We're not doing that. I guess they count as him as... If you shoot the turret itself, it doesn't tell you how many hits, but if you shoot him, it's four. I'm guessing we don't get headshots on them. So, let's just keep going. Oh, what, you're hitting me? That is lame. I want to get as far as possible to be able to shoot this guy. Got him. Didn't take much. No! Eat this! So, Viola. I want to see something. I want to see if we could take him out while crouching with our gun. Because they expect you to use a grenade, but shock troopers. Get so many bullets and they're kind of ridiculous. Three, four, five. Okay, let's go now. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. It's better to get shot at while behind a, you know, behind a sandbag than while moving. Let's see. Yeah, we could take about easy. Twelve shots. Remember, shots to the head don't matter when they're in the sandbag. So I got the two scary sniper, uh, Gatling guys who we're just gonna ignore and capture the base. Mission complete. I'm guessing this is a multi part mission, so we capture this first, then we could get more story. Even with the camp, we can't advance like this. 
We have to take out the Gatling turrets. This is bad, Claude. If this keeps up, they'll mow us down. Come on, let's just go all out and charge them. Better than sitting here and dying, right? No, a frontal assault is way too dangerous. We have to stand back. Easy for you to say. Damn, if only we had artillery. There has to be some way through. Just hang on until I find it. Oh, is this where they're going to introduce the new unit? The mortar unit? Da da da. Higher chance of potentials dodging. All right. That's an interesting gameplay mechanic to keep in mind. Okay, so they've suddenly made it so we do have to proceed. And they've moved us all up. And the tank can't fit. Viola's morale has gone up. Guess we should cheat save. We haven't loaded yet, though. Alright, so... In the tank, shoot one of these guys down. I'm thinking that would be very tricky. We're going to be a psychopath and just try moving up. All right, Raz, good luck. I guess we could just waste turns sniping them. I want to see how this goes. It's not going to go well. Everything's fine. Just do what you do best. Get over that, you mook. Leave the driving to me. Run. Keep calm and move on, ah, we're dead. <laughs> Damn it, the defenses are too strong. No. The medic. Blah, blah, blah. Critical condition cannot use CP. So you don't want them to, well, be touched or stay out for too long. They get, get incapacitated. No, not death. That comes back. That wasn't in the second game. Oh, okay, so you don't have to wait till the next map. You could redeploy the next turn. So yeah, guys, bad idea to rush into all these Gatling guns blasting. I kind of just want to see what would happen, and yeah, that's, that's, that's what happened. So we're going to cheat load. Only because that was obviously a stupid thing to do. All right, so. We could either use a turn to scout around, see if there's any secret we're missing out on. Or. We could waste time using a sniper to try to blast them multiple times. Or. We could try to use the tank get a good shot off. Let's try a turn with the tank. So what do you think, tank? Oh wow, you're not. Yeah, no. How's your mortar? 
Even if I was closer, that wouldn't reach. What do you think? Will I get that within four shots? Because the sniper will have taken four shots to do that. One moment. Okay, so let's see. I don't think they really expect us to try to take out those Gatling turrets, but maybe they do. We probably have to waste a bunch of turns until something special happens, story-wise. Let's just try to blast them. Getting closer probably won't matter from here, so... Let's just, uh, try... Miss. Got him, haha. -ha. Never say never. So for that guy. Enemies everywhere. What are we supposed to do, damn it? We were supposed to wait until this happens instead of trying to take them out with our tank. Yes, you're the mortar unit we saw earlier with the really long, scary looking bazooka thing. Wait, Cinder, what now? This sure as hell ain't a fairy tale. I'd love to get to the ball at the castle, but I don't even have a pumpkin, let alone a carriage. Ho, ho, ho. Seriously? What's gotten into you, Claude? Just saying hello to what's her name? Gee, why wouldn't we have ever thought about this unit we already had in our squad? Because we want to keep it secret for the player before we introduce the new character class? Hello. Now there are enemy mortarers. And you could sort of become a mortarer anyway and... I don't know. You are already sort of able to use mortar units, but let's just see what they want us to do here. So Riley, aim is terrible. I don't think we were supposed to use uh, the tank to blow that guy up, but we managed. So, uh, good chance of getting more ammunition. She doesn't like being shot at by mortars. And her hacker so you could drop. Great. Why do we get so many of these? Uh, whatever. Well, let's give her a go. Says range 600 versus armor 300. What is intercept fire? I guess that's if I'm getting shot at. I could use a... Uh, I didn't... Hmm. I wouldn't think I'd be able to use interception fire. Whatever. Yeah. Tutorial time. Okay, they're not mortars, they're grenadiers. Wow. Okay, so we got a spot for them first. Oh, that's what the interception means. Sorry, one second, I'm running over a wire. Okay, so let's see. That's a bit confusing.
Okay, so you want to find a safe spot before you shoot. So I assume once you start the attack phase, they'll be attacking you as you're readying and then firing. You know, after aiming and picking a shot. Okay. Still not entirely sure what your Let's see how they like these mortars. What your whatchamacallit means the uh Are the reinforcements on their way? Okay, so we're already set up. But anyway, I I'm not really sure what the interception fire thing is yet. So we should get that guy. <laughs> we could put the camera up, that's so cool. We actually use them to kind of scout around the field. Is that kind of cheap? I think what they're saying is, like, we wouldn't be able to see if there are units here because we can't see through that wall. All right. So we're going to want to blow that guy up. Can we actually hit this guy? We're just out of range. We already got him, though, but I'm just saying. Anyhow, let's get rid of this doofus. Are you one shot? Yep. Why is it so clippy weirdly? Where are you? Here, let's just push R. Wow, there we go. Pew pew. That hurt. So let's use the rest of your movement. Hopefully we won't get too close to someone who could shoot you. I'm assuming they want us to reach that sandbag location there. Let's just go forward because we have enough. <laughs> we were just out of range of it, but anyway, we have enough CP to keep acting. I suppose we may as well just attack with her again already. Now we better start. No, because this guy could hit, shoot at us. So yes, use her first. Uh, target mode. And come to think of it, can I shoot these guys too? Sure can. Just one scout though. That'd be kind of a waste. I'll blow this guy up and then. I guess we could move to that sandbag, even though the scout will be shooting at us. Come on. Oh, he's more than one hit? I wasn't paying attention. I wonder if it did say more than one hit, or if it was just not really on target. That's alright. Not really all right. He'll start shooting at you. Can we really defend this position? Yeah, not gonna play around. Wipe out those cannons, ASAP. Let's just stop right here. It's you again. Shoot this doofus again. Yeah, look, we weren't aiming on him properly before. Lame. Because we did this. See? It doesn't say shots to kill up there. So we did some splash damage instead of truly hitting him. Okay, well, we did waste a CP earlier, but whatever. Can always expect perfection. Target destroyed. Very good. Move forward. Don't worry about getting shot at. Actually, now that we used that extra CP, how much do we have remaining? Just two. Just hoping we have more. Move our engineer up. Awesome. Two. What? Oh. 
Okay, good for you. So we help her. We need interception fire. Keep calm and move on. Crouch. Oh crap, no no, what are you doing? Uh so you can't possibly aim that far. I guess you could waste time shooting at him. Get your gun, jeez. That hurt way too much. Won't hurt a bit. Huh, I almost got him. That sure hurt. See, let's see. I think if I use her now, she'll be within range. <laughs> Great. This is not good. I didn't think she'd be that kind of within range. What? It's a learning experience. Take this. Okay. Down on Kill confirmed. Not bad out there. Well, hopefully she'll make it. I'm playing really recklessly here. Maybe those units won't move up. There's one guy. There's counter fire, which is kind of cool. Wow, that is pretty cool. Come on. Oh, she can't see him. Bye bye. I can take it. No, you can't. If he were to move again, he'd probably touch her and knock her out and take her off the field. So, yeah, I was very irresponsible with my actions. Also didn't help that I didn't know exactly how to use the unit yet. Uh-oh. <laughs> No problem. You still have a Gatling here, probably Gatling here. And we still have to wait a turn after rescuing them to deploy them here and then wait another turn for them to be deployed. So it's gonna be two turns from now before they get deployed. That's it, We're, we've made this bed. I guess we'll just live in, uh, sleep in it. A scout and he's crouching. I got this. Send cares out. Go, go, go. Save them both. Medic, they're over here. We're getting you out. Yay. Okay. Oh, what? It looks like this. You go get some rest. It almost looks like Alicia. Is that supposed to be Alicia's daughter? Maybe she's the main girl in the first game. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. 
Actually, that wouldn't make sense because this takes place during the first game. Game, so whatever. Crouch and turn and turn and ugh, wrong button. In the other game, it's a different button to end your turn. Here comes the pain. Take out your gun. Yay. You're gonna be stuck in the open if I keep moving you, so we'll end you right here. Let's try to bring a scout up. There's two shock troopers though, so that's kind of scary. So much AP. Doopy 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 doo. Alright, let's see about getting some useless shots off here. How about the guy who's not crouch no, you're not crouching either. Good luck. There we go. Yay, two hits on the head. Good job. And your turn. Now, if I try to approach them with the scout, they're going to rip a hole in him. Plus, there's a Gatling turret, so I think we might be stuck for a while. God, I have to work. After capturing the base, of course. Let's hope they don't start firing on me. What can I do? Let's capture and then Better not screw this one up, Claude. hide in that... Uh, Sandbag on the side, I guess. Though then they'll just approach and destroy me. Are the reinforcements on their way? Can we really defend? All right, well, let's see if he could capture, uh, shoot at us while we capture the base. Let's see how they like these mortars. Hey. Yeah, Gatling will shoot if I go farther, so I can't try to throw a grenade, plus they'd shoot at me, too. So... Let's try to waste another shot to take him out. Get lucky, we can. Oh, yay. We're still in camp. If I cross over, am I still in camp? No. Can I stand behind the sandbags here? Stay low. Stick to the nope, that's here. not camp. So, let's go ahead and be as far back as possible and crouch. This this morale went up. Good, good, good. Alright, so we probably can't send out... Nope, we gotta wait a whole nother turn before we can send out our... Mortar units. What I might just do is be a psychopath and rush through next turn. Past the... Machine gun turret. I mean, it is just one. I want to pick someone with a lot of HP and defense. Where do they list our deep? There we go. Three, five, but they're slow. I guess it would be a shock trooper. Where's the most HP? You. Whatever, we'll try you. And wait a minute, would we actually be able to move our tank up? That'd be insane if we could. Well, we can't check our tanks over there. Do 
We probably should deploy someone else in case something bad happens. We don't need many points to get through. So we don't need to save this. Let's send, uh... One, two, three. I guess we could send another one of these people. Just send her. Hopefully the shock trooper won't take us out. Oh, sniper. Nice. Yes, real nice. Probably better he shoots Kaz. And the shock trooper didn't move. Okay then. So. Still have a shock trooper to take out and a Gatling turret to worry about. Let's use one of these guys to take out the shock trooper. We could kind of test the Gatling turret's range. Maybe if we flank it. Wow, the Gatling turret's not even shooting at us. You suck, Gatling turret. Forget you. I could finish this with the scout. Go, go, go. Yeah. Alright. Well, that was a little bit, uh... Iffy, the way it was done, but it got done. Alright, we broke through. Keep advancing. Capture that cannon. Federation bastards. We won't let the blood, sweat, and tears of the Imperial people fall into your hands! That camo looks really bad from up close. On the howitzer. Glory to the motherland! What you gonna do? You should just point blank with the howitzer? Everyone, get down! Uh, yes. Oh, wow. Um, I guess they didn't want us to use it. few points for shooting down tanks and leaders and stuff. Yeah, an A rank seems to give you a double, double on top of the base result. They basically end up with three times the base score. You certainly impressed someone in that last battle. HQ sent you something nice as a reward. A present? For me? Uh-huh. Okay, each bow gives you a reward. <laughs> Alright, thank you. A patrol cap. Thank you. I guess. Preferences have changed? What does that mean? Like who we like fighting with? Still can't check out the tabs. Let's just see the movie. So this is the 21 centimeter howitzer. Kind of looks more destroyed than I expected. Or what's left of it anyway. So much for surrendering. Denying us this scrap metal cost them their lives. They chose death before dishonor. 
Everyone who goes to war knows they might die. But if I was in their shoes, I don't think I could pull the trigger. We're not fighting to die. We're fighting to live. These men died for their country, and I respect that. Still. Yeah. Weapons can be replaced. Lives can't. So deep, man. <sighs> but speaking of weapons... How about those new guns the reinforcements were carrying? Oh, so we didn't know about them yet? Even though they showed up in a cutscene earlier? Big things really do come in small packages. It's got state-of-the-art tech with the range of a tank. Better accuracy, I too. Beauties, and I thought you were supposed to be the cream of the crop. a mortar a magic wand that grants every soldier's wish awesome right you see in this isn't that okay i guess we didn't have introductions during the fight nope childhood friends okay of the squad gotta say I'm impressed at how quickly they were able to change their tactics on the fly yeah too bad we were kind of sloppy about it all uh, well... hmm? wait Raz what are you doing in the Edinburgh army bump something there Sound like all the Oh I see, I was kicking out my mic. Huh. Now let me see it's being picked up still. Check check. Yep. We enlisted together to protect Galia. No way! Lena? Small world, huh? Oh, sorry. I'm going by Kai now. Wait, Kai? Uh, but that's your... Riley. Hmm, I don't really get it, but okay. I'll call you Kai. Anyway, it's so amazing to see you. What are the odds of seeing old friends in a foreign war zone? Pretty high in a crazy anime video game. It's me you end up in joint operations anyway since you asked so nicely <clears throat> i'm lieutenant riley miller after majoring in ragnite engineering the army brought me on as an artillery advisor i've been temporarily transferred from the field artillery team for this joint operation as long as i'm here i'll provide the fire support you need to take down the empire my knowledge is your power. Just what our squad needed. We appreciate the support, Riley. So, where's the commander? I wanted to introduce myself. Uh, about that. It's not just us two in this squad. But what do you know? Huh? You mean Kai's here after all, or...? Riley, I'm the commander of Squad E. What? Oh, you're pretty young for an officer. But I was impressed out there. My knowledge is your... <sighs> Claude Wallace. Dun dun dun. Backstory time. All you have to say. We were to be wed. I can't.
You killed my dog. You, you destroyed my family home. Um, well. Heirloom. Well, that worked out. Chapter 2. The Liberation of Rain. Hey, is this game going to keep going? Good news, Claude. HQ has awarded you with a medal. Good job, on. Actually, this is probably the you lost unit in battle, but you recovered them. Yeah, there you go. Metal. Oh, okay. For meritorious action in capturing Fort Crest, you've earned this medal. It's a good start. Listen up, everyone. You already like got the new member of Squad e. reward for that the patrol cap. Connor Doherty. I'm writing a book. Uh, a war story. Nonfiction. It's good to meet you. Right, Fort. Mercenary. You pay, I shoot. Huzzah. Self-conscious, that sounds great. And again, preferences. What the heck? Wee, if the game's gonna keep going, I'll probably have to just stop here, yeah. So, let's see about breaking this up, putting it on the YouTube channel. But, the rest of it will probably be played locally and uploaded later, too. Whoever's stuck around, watch. Well, thank you, and uh, good night.